I feel like the fact that I made this anonymous gave people like that shoulder pad, that like, you know, confidence to be asking some questions. <laughs> Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Titulayo and if this is your first time seeing me on your screen or stopping by on my channel, it is very nice to meet you. You are welcome. If this is not your first time, you know the drill. A one, a two, you're welcome, eh, you're welcome, uh, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome, eh, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Everyone is having a wonderful, beautiful, fabulous day. Over the last couple of months, I noticed that I had a lot of subscribers join the channel. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you're enjoying the content on this channel. So I decided to go ahead and film a QA and a video just so you can kind of get to know me a little better. And I put up the poll to ask questions on Instagram and Snapchat. And there was also a means to ask anonymously, which honestly, about 95% of the questions here are actually anonymous questions. So without further ado, let's go ahead and answer the question. First question is, how are you doing slash how are you feeling? So today I'm actually doing pretty good. I'm feeling great. I filmed this tutorial on makeup tutorial on this look and I went to the gym this morning so I was super productive. I'm literally be having a productive day. I'm feeling good. How are you doing? Let me know in the comment section how you're feeling today. How do you always look so beautiful? I actually had like a couple of questions like this. How do you always look so beautiful? When it comes to makeup, I'm not always made up. So I don't always look like, you know, this all the time. And in the sense that, you know, my natural skin's beautiful. Well, you can, you have my mama to thank for that. So thank you, mama T. <laughs> thank you. How many faces do you do in a day? So this came in from my Instagram page. So I'm thinking this has to do with, um, this has to do with the makeup aspect of things. So when it comes to like made faces, like people's makeup that I do in a day, I I don't think like, it's not constant. So it's not like I do makeup every single day. So some days are really busy, some days are really slow, and some days I have no clients at all. But I would say the lowest I do in a day, obviously if I'm doing makeup is one person. And I think the highest I've done in one day has to be about, almost 12 people they were in the same event but they were like two different events on the same day and i had like a model shoot and i also had like a wedding on the same day so i would say like about 12 people on the same day would be the highest i've done who can you count on uh my answer would have to be god to be honest like i, I would have said i would count on myself but i can't really count on myself because sometimes i swear i disappoint i disappoint myself sometimes i ain't even gonna lie so i would just say god is the only person i can count on that won't let me down but you know if i'm just counting on people i count on myself i count on my friends i count on my parents you know yeah but would they let me down of course of course <laughs> what did i do last weekend like i said i went to the zoo i went to i went out with some family i cleaned my entire apartment and i was saying there is nothing there is nothing absolutely nothing that beats the feeling of having a clean apartment when you have stressful times or when you know like you know you're going to be super busy did you watch harry potter so i would say yes and no and I said yes because I remember watching some part or like some season or some episode. I remember watching some part of it. I think, I don't remember when, where or with who to be honest, but I remember like, I remember watching it, but not as religiously as people who actually watch Harry Potter do. And that's why I said no. Another question that came up and this question always comes up, you guys are like super nosy, is are you single? Yes, I'm single. Moving on, would you say that you are a clumsy person? No, I'm not clumsy like 
clumsy the dwarf. I think that was one of the dwarfs that was clumsy, right? I'm not clumsy like that where I drop everything or I spill everything or I fall everywhere and I can't keep myself up. Not like that. I mean, everybody's clumsy to some extent, like once in a while. But I would say I'm not a clumsy person, usually. Oh my god, yo, this question. <clears throat> I feel like the fact that I made this anonymous gave people like that shoulder pad, that like, you know, confidence to be asking some questions. So somebody asked me if I've ever had a devil's, I'm just going to leave it there. If you guys know the complete, this thing, you need to wash your minds. No, please no. I don't deal with the devil in any way, shape or form. I'm a child of God. I don't do devil things. So I'm never going to finish the question. Cause I'm trying to keep this PG-13. I've not had a devil's anything. I don't deal with the devil. The devil is behind me. That's all I'm gonna say. What is something that instantly makes you like someone? Hmm. Okay, so. <laughs> all right, so it's <laughs> I feel like the way people look is something that makes me like them instantly. The way you're dressed, the way you carry yourself, you know, are you a bad thing? Are you a mad thing on the streets? Like, you know, I will like you if you're looking like a bad man thing, you know? That being said, I might fall in love with the way you look, but necessarily not fall in love with you or like, like you when I get to know you better. But I feel like if it has to be something that, you know, instantly as soon as I see you, it just catches my attention. It has to be the way you look. Yeah. Is there anyone you're currently fighting with? Um, hmm. No. I'm good. I was trying to think about which one of my friends annoyed me this weekend, but all of them have been good, Sha. Yeah, I'm not fighting with anybody. Um, that being said, that doesn't mean people are not fighting with me in their minds, but... <laughs> As a parenting, it's expected. It's just expected. But yeah, no, I'm not fighting anybody. What's your favorite lip combination? I don't think I have like an actual favorite like lip combo, more like a lip style. So what I mean by that is I don't have like this shade of lipstick and this shade of lipstick that's my holy grail no but i'm more of you know i line the outer parts of my lips or like the top of my lips with a darker shade and then i try to bring it in very close to the center but leave that center part for just like a lighter shade i think it makes my lips look a little more shapely you know i have a lot of shape in my lips already but like i think it adds a little more dimension to my lips so i really like the way that look turns out and that's what i do all the time when i apply lipstick who's your favorite makeup artist and why I don't have a favorite makeup artist, to be honest. Um, I like people's style. I can't really say I like this makeup artist. I just like, you know, different styles from different people. So I don't have a favorite makeup artist, to be honest. Someone asked me, are you smart? <laughs> I don't know why I read it like that. Like I, read, <laughs> I just read like an annoyed Nigerian. I don't know why I did that. Okay, someone asked me, are you smart? I believe I am, you know, I have very good critical thinking skills, I'm able to troubleshoot problems and, you know, get results, and I have a degree to my name, so at that point, you know, master smart now, you, you know, you know it, you know it. Someone asked me, what have you learned this year? Hmm, this was deep. So, I'll answer this in like the deep form and in the non-deep form, so like, with COVID, obviously, months were at home. So one thing I decided to do was I decided to learn a new skill just so I could keep busy, but I could also better myself. So there were two things I learned. I would say like one was more of like practicing more because one of them was baking. And I had started baking kind of last year. Nothing too serious. I would say like it's more of learning how to frost a cake than actually baking a cake that I, I was trying to learn. So... I practiced that a lot this um, COVID season as well, like this year as well. Another thing I learned how to do this year was I actually learned how to do my nails myself. Can you see that? I mean, this set is like super old now. It's like almost 
two and a half weeks old so it's kind of lifting but this year I also learned how to do poly gel nails I feel like it was one of those things when I was trying to still look cute <laughs> during COVID I set out and like you know purchased a couple I think like two or three poly gel kits and so once in a while you know actually ever since then I've just been practicing anytime I get anytime you see my nails done throughout COVID until now it's been me it's been me. I've been I, I've been on that. It's been me. Okay, give me the credit. That's in the kind of skill aspect, but in the mindset aspect, yo, I learned that we can make all the plans we want. Every single plan we want to make. But God can come through and just be like, sis, sit down. And that's exactly what happened to me this year. Y'all, I had so many plans for 2020. <laughs> Y'all, 2020 was supposed to be my year. Uh, 2020, vision 2020. Like, you know, it's sort of the saying that. Like when people ask you, when is this going to happen? Oh, Vision 2020. When is this going to happen? Vision 2020. And then 2020 just came and it's like, oh. hmm. You know, I like, can't even complain anymore. I feel like I've just accepted my fate with 2020 just being like that year where I just rest. I just not do anything. All my plans fell through. All the plans I made fell through in 2020. One thing I actually learned from that is that I tend to be the kind of person that, you know, always makes plans. I like to think about things before they happen, overthink them before they happen. I like to, you know, plan every single detail of everything and every aspect of my life. And it just taught me like how to kind of go on the, go with the flow, kind of go how the wind blows pretty much. This year has also taught me that you're like, you need to keep your family and friends closer. Like the biggest goal out of all the goals that I set at the beginning of this year, so all of those down into the trash. The only goal I currently have is to get out of this year with my friends, my family, people that I love, intact and alive. That's all I want out of this year. Every other thing that I planned can go to hell. <laughs> like all I want is for me, my family, my friends, people that I love to live this year safely in good health because yo, people are dying. Like it's not even funny. It's not even funny all right guys so sorry i kind of went deep there like i don't know when i think about this year it just takes me into different levels but anyways uh, let's move on so let's move to something a little lighter um this is probably like the last couple of questions i had someone asked me who's my current crush in halifax so i don't have a crush in halifax at the moment the boys are bad so <laughs> I'm tired though. <laughs> but no, it's, it has nothing to do with the people here. I'm just not in that mindset, so I don't have a crush on anyone. How do you tell a guy that likes you, you don't feel the same, and not crush his pride? I feel like you can just be nice about it and just, you know, communicate. You can just let him know you're not on the same level that he's at but also mind the way you do it when you do it and how you do it and please 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 always try to make sure he knows that it's not about him i feel like him knowing that you know it's not like you're ugly or you're not enough will not crush his pride some girls are very mean and will just be like i don't like you or you're not my type or da 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 or da 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 and i'm like Wow, how is the guy supposed to take that? And I feel like our society is one that's kind of double standard where guys are supposed to know how to take that L, but women cannot take the L. But you know, guys are human beings too, and so it's not fair to expect them to be able to stomach it or take everything in when you know it's being hurtful. So I would say. And I know like I kind of tiptoed around this question, but I feel like if I had to let someone down that without hurting their feelings, I would make sure to stress the fact that it's not about them. Like, you know, they will find someone. They are good enough for someone. I just don't feel like 
I'm that person. I just want to say thank you to everyone who sent in a question. I hope everyone has a little more insight about me as a person. And again, welcome to all of my new subscribers. I hope you stay and enjoy the content. And if you're currently watching for the first time, make sure you subscribe, hit the push notification button so you can never miss a video on this channel. And make sure to also follow me on Instagram and Snapchat so you can participate in, you know, videos like this as well. And I guess I'll see you all in my next video. God willing, stay blessed and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Your body never